I really need to figure out what my purpose is. Um, I really need to figure this out. Um, because, uh, I think that would help me a lot if I could figure out what my purpose is, uh, in life. Um, I feel like I do have a purpose, but I don't really know what it is exactly. Um, I know I understand, uh, things from a, from a crazy perspective, um, that is pretty valuable, I think, um, in the grand scheme of things. Um, I do understand uh, the opponent, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I understand the opponent that um, I've been up against for a lot of my life. I do understand that opponent. Um, kind of from a strategic uh, standpoint and um, kind of a, a war, warfare mindset, you know, um, I see it from, um, from the move, from all the moves they made against me throughout my life, you know, I kind of understand uh, what I'm dealing with, you know for the most part, but I don't know if that has any value, but I feel like, I feel like it does because I, I feel like, um, that, uh, so much was thr thrown at me and thrown my way to take me down, but it didn't take me down, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, and it, and it kind of had an opposite effect of what they had in mind. Um, you know, it kind of uh, sent me on a certain trajectory, you know. The fact that they destroyed me but couldn't finish me or didn't finish me uh, put me on a trajectory of only going up from there. There was nowhere to go down. I was already at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I was below the bottom uh, at a certain point. Um, but since they didn't uh, finish me off, finish my body off, which was their mistake, in my opinion, that was that was probably their biggest mistake, is not actually finishing the bo my body off. So since they didn't do that, it sent me on a trajectory upward, you know, from dead person. Yeah, I was completely dead. Uh, even though my body was still alive, I was dead. But I was at that dead point. And there was only uh, a way up from there, you know. Any, any positive moves I made would was lifting me up, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if they were small, but, uh, because there was no, there was nowhere to go down, because I was already at the, the bottom, you know, they couldn't push me any further down than I was, you know, so, the only way was up from there, um, uh, no matter what happened, like, the, tra the trajectory was up <laughs> um, since they didn't uh, uh, they, they targeted me you know but they didn't finish me you know they always targeted me but didn't finish me and that was their mistake that was their biggest mistake in my opinion um, so because um, I do understand the opponent pretty well, <laughs> scary well. Um, 
that's how much damage I took in close quarters I was um, with them. Um, they're all I knew. They, they were all I knew uh, on, for the most part on the planet was these type of people. It was all I knew. It was all I was around. That's it. Uh, here and there was a was a, a normal person, but for the most part, it was just these type of people. Uh, um, these kind of people that are trying to destroy you, basically. Um, have an agenda to destroy you. That's what I've been mostly around uh, for the greater part of my life. To the point where I thought it was normal, you know. I thought they were the normal ones because it was so, I was around them so much that uh, I thought they were just the normal humans down here, you know, for the most part, which they, they probably are the majority, <laughs> felt like the majority. So, um, but anyways, I, I don't know if that has any value, but like, I think it does because like, um, Because um, the fact that I'm taking things seriously is different now, you know, like it changes things. Because before, um, they didn't really know this, but I kind of just gave up, you know, like I, I was losing on purpose, you know, they didn't really know that, but like after certain things happened, you know, and God doing nothing, I just kind of just quit, you know, and they did whatever they wanted, you know, and I, I didn't care. I didn't care about anything, you know. Um, I was basically losing on purpose because I was pissed off at God, basically, um, for just uh, basically watching me like an idiot, you know, I felt, you know, just watching me going through this certain things, you know, just like a, an idiot would watch me, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I felt. Um, so I was pretty much losing on purpose because I was, I was pissed off at God. <laughs> um, but the, the opponent, the, uh, the enemy or whatever you want to call them, you know, they didn't, they didn't really know I was losing on purpose. They didn't really know that. Um, they thought they were getting a one up on me. They thought they were getting the last laugh on me, you know, but they didn't really know that I was letting them. They didn't really know that I didn't care. They didn't really know that I had no self-esteem to even, uh, block anything that they were doing, you know, like I didn't care. You know, like I, I was letting them do whatever, you know, the whole time I was letting them do whatever they wanted. Um, and they still couldn't finish me off, you know, um, because that's just how they roll. You know, they don't, they do everything else, you know, but they, they just, they don't have the balls to finish you off. And, you know, that's another, that's another story. Um. They're cowardice. Um, um, so, they're cowardice. Yeah, that's, that's a big, that's a huge topic um, to talk about, is their cowardice. Um, you know, they, they, they go around with this grandiose fake self and think they're all top notch, but like, they're cowards as fuck, you, you know. They really are cowards as fuck. <laughs> um, like they'll 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 attack you in the in the darkness, you know. Basically, they'll attack you in the darkness and uh, play the hero in the light. You know what I'm saying? That's how they are. It's fucked up stuff. So, um, but yeah, that's just how they are. They just. the two-face show, you know, <laughs> um, do all their 
dirt in the dark, you know. But they're they're the they're the most righteous Christians on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? They're the most righteous Christians on Sunday, you know. But away from Sunday, they are doing shit in the dark, you know. Um, everything you can imagine, they're they're involved in, <laughs> pretty much. Um, but they'll blame you for they'll blame you for what they're doing, you know. They blame me for what they were involved in, you know, projecting. So, anyways. It was all just a bullshit scenario. That, you know, I don't know why I was born into it. You know, I don't really know. Um, I don't really know the, the logic behind it. I don't really know the meaning behind it. It's just like uh, God was sending me into a losing situation. You know what I'm saying? Like on purpose. You know, like he knew I would lose. <laughs> God knew I would lose against all of them. Against me. Yeah, of course I'm going to lose. Um, there's more of them than there is of me, you know, so. Have no fucking backup. What do you expect? What do you expect is going to happen? You know, of course they're going to beat me. Um, have no reinforcements, you know. So. Anyways, enough about that. Um. Maybe I'm here to shift the war, you know, um, like turn the tide of the war because in my opinion, for the, for most of my life, for the greater part of my life, they've been winning and from my perspective, they were told, they're totally winning down here from my perspective for the first part of my life, but you know, as these last few years, like I, I'm, I'm starting to see that, okay, maybe they won't, maybe the, maybe these guys won't win in the end, you know, that's only been like in recent years, I've been starting to see things like, okay, maybe, maybe these guys aren't going to win after all, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I thought, like, like, like I did think they were going to win, you know, um, but, uh, I didn't really know that uh, God was keeping close uh, watch on a lot, all this, all this stuff. You know, I didn't really realize. I thought they convinced me that there was uh, no God, or God gave up. You know, <laughs> God, God quit. You know, that's how they, that's how they made me feel. Um, for a lot of my life, they made me think that God just quit and just let them run rampant, you know, so, so there was no rules, no rules down here, you know, um, no morals, no law, it basically, you know, anyway, I think I got a lot off my chest right there, so, there's a lot of things that, uh, didn't make sense in my upbringing, you know, like, things that happened to me, uh, I don't know, like, you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that, uh, a great God would watch that and do nothing, but, but that's what happened, that's exactly what happened, the, the guy that was nailed to the cross just, just, watched, just watched that shit, he didn't do shit, you know, so, that's the reality, that's the hard truth, um, that I just have to stomach, you know, um, you know, they, 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 like, try to shove it in your face, you know, through, in church, like, every week, that God's great, but then you're getting abused at home, and you're just, like, this God is great, is fucking bullshit, you know, <laughs> you know, like all this talk about God being great is fucking horseshit, you know, because I'm getting abused as fuck, you know, at home, and then, 
at, at church, everybody is saying God's awesome, but I'm getting abused. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like this whole religion's full of shit. <laughs> this God is not very awesome. You know, I'm, I'm getting my ass kicked by these Christians, you know, literally getting my ass kicked. And uh, this great and awesome God is just not, not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, don't worry about it. He can handle it. But I couldn't handle it. You know what I'm saying? I could only take so much. Like, a person can only take so much. I'm not fucking Superman. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Like, even I have my limits of what I can take, you know. But God just allowed me to take it, you know. He just didn't. Uh, he wasn't the awesome God that they were talking about in church to me, you know. Um, and I'm getting really deep and real serious here, you know, like, it was just too contradictory, you know, like, uh, to everybody else, God was awesome, but to me, he wasn't awesome, you know, I'm getting my ass kicked by these Christians, they, literally, you know, I'm like, this God that everybody's singing about is not that great, you know. That's what I thought for a lot of my life, so. Anyways. But out of nowhere, you know, God wants to help me out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I'm supposed to forget the first fucking 29 years of my life, you know, like, of... God not stopping these people? <laughs> I don't forget, you know, like, what the fuck? Well, I, don't know, I guess that's my biggest struggle, just like, yeah, that is my biggest struggle, it's just, where was the, where was the God helping me now, back then? Where was he back then? You know what I'm saying? I needed, I needed the God that's helping me now, back then, you know, not, not later, <laughs> not way later, you know, um, but God's more wise and sees more than I do, and his timing was way different than when I, when I would have jumped in, you know. Um, so, I don't know what he's thinking, you know, like, I don't know, I don't understand his timing and all of it, you know what I'm saying, like, basically, basically jumped in when I was at my worst, <laughs> um, but not, not when I needed him, you know, he didn't jump in when I needed him, but he, he jumped in when I was at my worst, you know. So, and now I'm supposed to fix all the damage done while he was sitting on the sidelines, you know, have to fix all that damage, you know, that could have been avoided. All of it could have been avoided. Yeah. Uh, and that's the thing I struggle with is all of it could have been avoided. Uh, if um, God did what I felt would have been the right thing and defend the kid, you know, defend uh, one of his kids, which he claims I'm one of his kids. Don't you defend one of your kids? You know what I'm saying? So, in my mind, like, that means I'm nobody's kid, you know, no one defended me, so. Um, so I have to be the hero of my younger self right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, defend myself now in the way that I should have defended myself back then, you know, but it's a little easier now to defend myself because, 
you know, I have a stronger body, but than way back then for sure. So it's a lot easier to stand my ground now against people. But um, anyways, that's enough about that. Um, the rough history of uh, me and God is well known. <laughs> it's a it's a rough history. So. Um, It's an ongoing, um, yeah, kind of a relationship between him and I, or whatever. Um, so, anyways, that's just my uh, thing. That's just my personal. Thing that I have to work through. It's um, my God issues, because my my God issues are at the core of a lot of things, a lot of problems. You know, um, a lot of problems with me um, comes from the uh, God doing nothing back then. You know, that's a that's a big part of it huge part of it, um, just like this God that everybody's loving is just full of shit, you know, or I'll get my ass kicked by these Christians, you know, so, anyways, that's just where I was sitting from my perspective, you know, you know, from a kid's perspective, you know, just like, but I think a kid's perspective matters still, you know, despite him being a kid, um, if he's being abused in a religious setting and everybody's saying God's awesome, but the kid's getting abused, that that's a problem, you know? That's a problem. Um, so, and that falls on God's shoulders, you know, in my opinion. Uh, why, why do you, why does God get a pass for what was done to me? You know what I'm saying? But they say they say he suffered the same as me, but So he did, he was in my position. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Like, somehow he suffered what I already went through beforehand. You know what I'm saying? Somehow he suffered that, uh, what I went through, and came out the other side. You know what I'm saying? He's walked this road that I'm on right now. He has walked this road. He has hated himself. Like the way I hate him, he's he's hated him. He's, you know, people say, like, Jesus didn't have problems with God, but he did. Jesus had problems with God. Jesus himself. Why have you forsaken me? He's yelling at God in the sky, you know. Jesus had problems with God. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I get all the flack, you know, all the hate, you know, you know, Jesus himself. So, I don't want to hear that shit anymore, you know. But anyways, that's enough about that, you know. Um, I just had things get off my chest right there for some reason. You know, it, it helps to get these heavy things off my chest, you know.
because my, you know my my lack of uh, effort and trying does stem from my God issues. You know, it really does. Like I would I would have a different attitude. Like if I felt like God was on my side totally, if I felt that way, um, if I really did like fully feel that way, like I. I would have a pep in my step, you know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be different, you know, um, than what what happened, you know. Um, what I dealt with, I, I just, I, I dealt with the worst scenario you could ever be born into, in my opinion. Um, your, your caretakers are trying to take you down. What the fuck is that about? You know, your caretakers hate you. You know, the people that brought you into this world are trying to take you down. Some, some fucked up shit, you know. They don't even like you. They just, they just fucking pretend all the time, you know. Anyways, that's all I want to say for this rant, you know. That's all I want to say.